Have you ever wanted to unleash your inner Chipper Joanna Gaines and found it a little too intimidating? Well, we've got the perfect spot for you. Find out next on The Burrow. Here at Anders Rough Workshop, a great place to create charming home decor out of raw materials. With us is Meg, who's going to show us how this all works. Meg, AR Workshop, what does it stand for? So AR Workshop is technically Anders Rough, so it's the last names of the two founders, which is two women. Um, one of their last names is Anders and the other is Rough. When did it get started? Um, it got started about two and a half years ago. So they started a boutique and thought, why not franchise it and give everyone else the opportunity to experience what they were experiencing. Great, and so you bought one of the franchises. How'd yes. you get into this? Um, so basically, so I'm a graphic designer, I'm an artist, my mom's an artist, my grandma's an artist. Um, so it's just been in my blood since day one. Yeah. Uh, I went to school for graphic design and I kind of worked in all different industries and I was just constantly really pouring my heart into working for somebody else, and yeah. which was great and I was proud of myself, but I always knew that I wanted to do something on my own. How does a workshop work? Um, so basically, uh, as you can see, we have all different types of projects. So we have plank projects, frame projects, we have canvas. Um, so basically you go online, you pick whatever project type you want, okay. and then you pick your design. We have tons and tons of different designs. Um, it's kind of overwhelming, but it's great because there's so many options, there's something for everybody. Um, and the main thing that people get excited about is that you don't have to make the same thing that your neighbor's making. So oh, you can make something completely different. So basically you book online, whatever date is best for you, you show up and we have everything ready for you. Can someone throw a party? Or definitely. how does that work? Yes, definitely. So we do birthday parties as far as kids' birthday parties. We do adult birthday parties, bachelorette parties, bridal showers, baby showers, you name it. We pretty much do everything. Um, we've been really big on team building lately just because it's something different instead yeah. of you know maybe taking your team out to dinner. Um, this really is literally team building. We use power tools. It's and, hands on. Yes, totally hands on. And you're helping the you know somebody next to you get their project done. And it's just been a really great experience for companies to come in and really see that different side of their employees. What's the best advice? you could give someone that might be a little intimidated about coming in to build something? Um, so a lot of people are. We get a lot of people walk through the doors and the first thing they say is, oh my gosh, my project's going to look terrible. I'm not crafty. And the thing is, you don't have to be crafty to come here. Okay. Um, because we work with stencils, so it's pretty foolproof, and we help you along the way with each and every step. Um, we also use power tools, which some people get a little bit nervous yeah. just because they haven't used them before. But honestly, I don't force people to use them, but I pretty much say this is much easier than you realize. They use it and they get so excited. Yeah. So. Well, this sounds like a lot of fun. I yes. want to go make something. Yes. Awesome. Let's go. Okay. All right, so we're going to make something. Yes, we're okay. going to help me nail this together and then we're going to finish off another project. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, so basically when you come in, this is literally how it will be set up and you'll have your stencil here, whatever design you picked. So. We usually tell everyone to go ahead and line up your planks. So go ahead and take these down and just line them up in the order that you want. Perfect. So some people like particular knots to be face up or face down or switch to the side. Whatever the case may be, everyone's different. So now we'll go ahead. So once you get that set up, we'll go ahead and we're going to flip over because we're going to assemble from the back. Okay. So normally, yep, just flip it. So sometimes this part gets people hung up. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use some wood glue here. And we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bead of glue okay. along here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rub these together. Go ahead. Just the glue together? Careful. Yes. Yep, just so it distributes the glue on each strip there. And then you're gonna place them, I say about two inches from each side. So this is just for a little extra support. And then we're gonna use the nail gun to actually nail the whole sign together. So have you ever used a nail gun before? I have not. I mean, I did a long time ago when I helped build a house for Habitat for <laughs> Humanity. But that one looks a little different. Yes, so it's super simple. It's just a little bit heavy. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put our battery in here. Are you righty or lefty? I'm a righty. Okay, perfect. So I'll show you the first one, how we're gonna do it. Okay. Basically, all we're gonna do, we're gonna put three nails in each plank. So we have four planks here, so three nails in each. So I'm gonna start right here. So we're just going to gently push down 
So that releases the safety, and okay. you're just going to pull the trigger. So see my hands here? Yep. Just like that. Okay. Got it. So we got one straight down, and then you're going to go ahead with the other ones and do them at a slight angle. That just pulls the wood and holds it a little bit different so that way it never warps or falls apart. All right. All right. Go ahead. Let's try it. Okay, so go ahead, line it up, perfect, and now you push down, push and down. now pull, pull the trigger. Perfect. Got it. All right. And then so, to an angle? Yep. Go ahead. Perfect, and do a, light, a slight angle there. Perfect. Great. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> this okay. is way easier than building a house. Yes, I would imagine so. And obviously this gun makes it super simple to just go ahead. We don't have any compressors or it's not, I mean it's loud, but it's not that loud. Yeah, if you ever have anyone that is worried or intimidated, they should not be. Yes. You've made it easy. Yes. And once people do it, they're so excited. It's fun. Yeah. So you see, we've got a holiday piece here. Yes, all of our new holiday designs just released. So we have something for everybody, whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah, or if you just want something in general for the holidays. Okay, um, I, see, I see a little design on here. What's yes, that? Yes, yes. So basically, so I prepped this board. So again, when you come in, you would have all raw materials. So you pick your background color. So I painted this white. I did a technique with gold, which we can't really see right now because our stencil no, I can see on the is covering it. Yeah. Yes. So basically when we work with the stencils, we prep them, we weed out all the stencil, and then we transfer it here. So again, I've kind of prepped this for us. Um, so we'll finish painting, and then we'll do the big reveal is when we peel off the stencil and see your full design. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna tap in. You're always gonna drag off on the side because you don't wanna use a lot of paint because right. it'll seep right under that stencil there. So go ahead and okay. tap in and drag off on the side. So we're just going to tap up and down. So we'll be not swiping at all. So I know a lot of people just naturally wanna start swiping, but see how I'm just tapping up and down. Yeah. Okay, so basically we're gonna try our hardest to stay within this stencil here. It's and a pretty intricate stencil, but I yes. think we can so do it. Yes, so of course I picked a, a complicated one, but I think we could do it. Yeah, and it'll be really pretty and worth it at the end. And all of our paints, we have tons of different colors. Um, pretty much every type of tone or color family that you can think of. We have swatches that helps people kind of decide when they're figuring out like what kind of paints go together yes. and yep. yeah, that's great. Yeah. So actually this is pretty easy. I mean, I'm not great at painting. I was the kid that always painted <laughs> everything the same color. <laughs> but good but, at coloring, but yes. painting not so much. Yes, so it is really simple and that's why it's pretty foolproof because a lot of people are under the impression that we're going to be freehanding and painting this whole project, but that's definitely not the case. Working with the stencil, you literally just have to go ahead and tap up and down and that's it. Well, I guess you probably have people that come in and then enjoy it, and do they come back? Oh, definitely, yeah. And when you come in, um, I mean, people think they can't do it, and so they get really excited leaving here with a finished product that they're really happy with and proud of and that they actually want to display in their home. Um, so they definitely always want to come back, especially being here. They see a whole list of new things that they want to come back and make, so. How many different designs do you have? Um, we have a lot, and we're always adding more. So right now we have about I would say 150 to 175 different designs. Um, and again, we're coming out with more and more. Um, as a graphic designer, I'm now helping the corporate team to create some new designs. That's so it's really awesome. exciting. Yeah, so um, it's really exciting there. And then as far as our project types, we have about, I would say probably 30 different types of projects. So again, different types and designs. Um, I mean, pretty much the possibilities are endless. Meg, that's pretty cool. Like you have this talent, you've, you've used it for years for other people, now you actually get to use it for the business that you own. This yeah. is pretty awesome. Thank you. It's exciting for sure. Okay, so basically to reveal our design here, we're going to okay. pull this stencil off okay. and we're going to use two hands here and we're going to pull up towards the ceiling, okay? So sometimes it gets caught, yep, keep pulling. So sometimes it gets caught into our letters there. Perfect. So that's part one. Okay. And now, with our design, we will have to go back with our little dental picks. And these are literally dental picks. Okay. And we're gonna start to pick out the design that's stuck in there with the stencil. So if you see here, this starts to peel right out. This one right here. Yeah. So a lot of people find this part a little satisfying and just peel it all out. Oop. Sometimes it comes out in one piece. And then so our design really starts to come to life. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is kind of satisfying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess kind of like when I was a kid, 
the kids used to put like Elmer's glue in between their hands yeah. and stick it together and peel it. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. That's so funny. Love cool. it. Good job. It looks great. Yes. Thank you. This is fun. Look at that. Put a little joy in your life. Yes. <laughs> From blankets to Lazy Susans, pretty much anything DIY, you can do it here at AR Workshop. Now go out and explore the borough. Hey Hillsboro, get social with us at the borough 813 on Instagram and check out our other social channels at Hillsboro FL.